Namaste kings and queens. Welcome back to my channel. I am Intuitive Flow. If you're new, if you're returning, welcome on back, my babies. I'm sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity, also health and wealth. I hope you all are taking care of yourselves, loving yourselves, honoring yourselves and those around you. This is going to be a quick you versus them energy reading for today, December 24th, 2022. It's very impromptu because I didn't think I would be able to do a Christmas Eve reading. Um, but since my son is taking a nap, I figured why not? All right, so let's go ahead and hop into the message. Please keep in mind this is general, um, so it may or may not resonate. But if you're ever interested in a personal reading with me, my contact information is in the description box below. All right, so let's get into it. Holy Divine Spirit Universe Source, please provide me a message for the collective as it pertains to love. Here's their energy right now. This could be the one. So it says, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. And then we have playfulness. I really do like this. A really good energy. But before I go any further, let's get their energy around you and around this love. Holy Spirit, give me one card for the collective person. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And then we have reconciliation. So I definitely do feel like for those of you in separation with your person, there is a reconciliation on the rise. But it is going to take for you to release control. Um, your person is wanting you to be more optimistic around the connection, around what it is that you say you want with this person, and to not be so, I'm hearing stern, or be so pessimistic is what I'm hearing. Yeah, I'm also hearing I'm your man, not your son. And then there's also energy around treating your son like your man. If some of you guys have a child, specifically a boy, over the age of 18. Okay, so now her 16 and up. There could be some conflict between them and your partner. For you, though, I see you feeling like, okay, this could be the one and this could be why you feel you need to control the situation or you want the situation to have a certain type of outcome and you feel that there are certain things that you need to do in order to get that outcome. But Spirit is saying, only thing you need to do is you. Do you. Love you. Respect you. Control you. You've obviously already met the partner you seek, so let the rest flow naturally. Just let it unfold. For a lot of you as well, I'm also picking up this could be the first time you've experienced like this type of feeling. It's feeling as though this could be the one. 
This could be someone coming back around, you're reconciling with. It says someone from your past is returning to your life. And maybe the first time around, you know, things didn't get off the ground or you guys really couldn't connect the way you wanted to. And you swore to yourself, the next time this person comes back around, I'm never letting them go. I'm not letting them slip out of my hands again. So that could maybe be causing some of you to possess some type of controlling characteristics or a controlling nature. For some of you, even possessive. If you haven't come across this person yet, this should or could be something you could be working on in the interim, releasing control issues as it pertains to partnerships and relationships. Any more here for this could be the one. We have I hate when you leave me and divine masculine. So yeah, this is definitely pertaining to your divine masculine here. And then we have I hope you're the one at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. A lot of you guys feel like you always heard about Divine Masculine or you've read about it, um, but you never truly experienced being in the presence of one. And now that you are, there's a sense of possession or wanting to like hold them captive. I'm also hearing like you guys don't even... You guys don't even want to like let them out of your sight, so to speak. Or you don't want anybody to even know you're dating this person for some of you. All right. So I'm picking up on energy is the energy I'm picking up on is some of you guys could have shady friends or family members around to where you don't want to bring this person around or you just don't want to taint the connection with outside opinions right now because you're kind of relishing in this connection and you're loving the connection and what it's providing to you you don't want any outside distractions right now some of you guys are afraid that someone's going to see something that you don't quite see like someone's going to tell you the truth about something uh, this could be pertaining to yourself like how you're acting, how you're behaving. Um, I have good intentions. But you have good intentions, though. And I do pick that up. I don't think that you you all mean any harm if you do possess like a controlling nature. I just keep hearing, but I just love him. Or her. Someone is. The person that you're connecting with. They're exuding everything that you've asked sourced for. Um, and then we have we need to talk. I feel like this person is going to want to talk to you. It could be about your controlling ways. Clarify, let go of control issues. We have you can't hurt me anymore. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could be or you could be connecting with an air sign. I'm feeling insecure. Your beautiful bag. So the energy I'm picking up on. First of all, this person thinks you're beautiful. You're amazing. 
you're stunning. Um, I'm picking up on Empress vibes. But it looks like you could have hurt this person in the past. That could play a really huge part as to why some of you may be trying to control a situation or you're, you're feeling as though you know you could have hurt this person and now that you're getting the chance to be with them again or connect with them again, um, you could be really trying to prove yourself to this person. Yeah, the energy I'm getting is if you feel like that you have to prove yourself to this person, let's say you're the type to be like, you can have all my passwords, you can check my email, my DMs, I don't care if you look at my phone, I, I don't care, if, you know, anything like that. If you are feeling like you want to do that, cool. But don't put that pressure on this person to have to do it too. That's what I'm hearing. Because that's where that need to control is coming in from, is what I'm hearing and what I'm picking up. That's, that's going back to when I said, the only thing you have to do is do you. All right? Don't project that onto this person if you were the one to hurt them, you know, take it how it resonates, but some of you guys could also be that type of person because you could maybe be dealing with someone who's insecure, but I feel like this person could be experiencing insecurities within the connection due to you hurting them in the past. If that is the case, cross watcher, um, this is something that you need to heal or work on before going towards any connection or reconciliation with anyone as it pertains to your insecurities here. Um, because Especially, especially if you're dealing with someone insecure, you're going to be finding yourself needing to prove yourself to this person. Because now I'm picking up this person can also be the type to be the one to be, I can't even get it out, to be the type to try to control you due to the past and the hurt and they feel like you have to do this, that, and the third in order to be with them or and we're unable to make sure their ego is stroked. I don't like that. That's very unhealthy. And this could be on both parts. So this could be two narcissists connecting. Literally getting diagnosed. Okay, we have justice here. Some type of balance will be restored, though. Someone could be confessing that they are a narcissist, though. Like, I'm getting documents, like, showing you that they're cl clinically diagnosed. Like, so you don't think that they just be tripping. Like, this is really an issue. We have the star, but they want to heal this. They are working on healing this here. The title card. Yeah. Oh, and the Ace of Cups. Wow. I'm hearing that Faith song. I love you. I can't sing it right now because, again, my son is asleep. But that is my song. What is the star? The star card is Aquarius energy. So again, you definitely could be connecting with the air sign or you're an air sign. Two of Wands. Someone feeling like 
they need to make a decision at a crossroads sun card could be an aries i'm sorry not an aries could be an aries but a leo Someone's at a crossroad. Someone's at a crossroad, with feeling like they finally met the one, their divine partner, but there's things that they're still dealing with internally that may sabotage their connection. King of Pentacles. Taurus energy. So look, there's the Empress, which I picked up on this person possibly looking at you or seeing you as the Empress. So I'm picking this up as you collective. Some of you guys could be dealing with some type of mental illness. I'm not trying to put that on anybody. So if it does not resonate, please do not make a scene. And there's some type of embarrassment there in regards to it. But this could be something such as anxiety, paranoia, panic attacks. I just heard Tourette. It's something along those lines where this is something you've been trying to heal from for a very long time. And you've came a long way, most definitely. But for some of you, you may have to take medication for this. Or you're in therapy, you're seeking psychological help. And to you, you feel like, oh my God, it's so embarrassing. He or she's not going to want to be with me. But I feel like this person is definitely going to respect you more to know that you are working on yourself. One second. Let me see my ring light, y'all. Because it was getting pretty dark. And I want y'all to see the card. King of Wands is here. There's that energy of that person being very, very attracted to you. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Knight of Swords. And Justice again. With the Four of Wands at the bottom. So... There's two masculine male here. Masculine male energies here with the Knight of Swords. If you're entertaining two different people, um, it would probably be in your best interest to be honest about that. Um, because I see that there is a possibility that you may run into one or the other while with one or the other, and there could be some type of argument or fight that transpire because you could be making someone feel like they're the only ones, or you could be making them both feel like they're the only one. Libra's here, and Gemini's here. So we do have air signs out here very strongly. But it, with the justice, is giving, like, I'm picking up on someone being very hurt to find this out. And if you're not the one to reveal this, um, especially, especially if they confide in you about their mental uh, health. Because it's going to be like 
damn, I've opened up to you. I told you what's been going on to me. I felt like we were really working towards something. And you've been playing me all this time. It's just really pretty much giving be honest with the justice card here about what you're doing and make a decision with the two of wands here. Some of you guys could really be trying to choose between an Aquarius and a Gemini or a Taurus and a Leo. That's very specific. But it doesn't have to be those signs. Thoughts. Okay. Really think about this. Someone's already up to this though. Someone's already up to your tactic or somebody is already aware of your tactic. Oh, tactic. What your tactic it's like someone's thinking, like, what are you up to? The number 16 here breaks down to the number 7. So someone could be very confused about you right now. Like, this is you. But they're thinking about you. Some of you guys could have been acting out of character lately. We have expectation. Number 28 breaks down to 10. Some of you guys could be expecting a child. Or some of you guys don't expect for this person to find out or even have a clue. But they do. And then we have concern here with community. Something's been getting around. Something's been getting around about you, around town. Oop, false person in marriage. Wow. I don't know if this is you collective, but someone's going to find out you're married or this is you finding out that someone else is married within the community. I do feel like this is a masculine energy that's concerned about you finding this out. And it's giving like whole time people are looking at you as a false person, but you don't even know. Thirty nine, eight and three. This could be a new marriage, though. Whoever this is, they could have been married three to eight years. They could be the ages 38, 39. I'm also getting a very long separation. Like, it's giving energy like they've been separated, but just haven't done the paperwork yet. Occupation. And now we have 33 and 34. You could be those ages. Six, seven. Yeah, because now the energy. Okay, so. Oh, great fortune here. This could be having something to do with. Someone at work. Either you or your person has been dealing with someone on and off at work, but it was only that, a work situation. Somebody is concerned about losing their job if they don't do something that someone wants them to do. Three of Wands and the Four of Swords. Two of Cups. And here's the Seven of Cups. This could have been someone you were connecting with, Collective, or your person, before you reconciled with one another. I'm hearing there, there has been plenty of times you could have told the truth. Give me something on the expectation here. 
Ace of Cups. Yep, somebody is definitely expecting a baby. What's this? The moon. Yep. Could be connecting with the Cancer or you're a Cancer. Pisces or Scorpio. I'm also picking up on somebody keeping this a secret until the baby is actually born. Now, this is for some of you, okay? It might not resonate with everyone, but whoever this is, the person that is pregnant could very well be this person's wife. Queen of Wands. And we do have the King of Wands out here. This is something this person manifested, the title card again. Remember I talked about paperwork? Some Someone is refusing to sign the papers. Because oh. it's giving very much energy like, why would I do that? Great fortune. See? And courthouse and message. I feel like, okay, damn. Okay, I'm going to give this message and then I'm going to close it out, y'all. So, there's energy around someone like, why would I do that? Why would I divorce you? You take care of me. I don't have to work. I'm about to have our baby. We've been married for umpteen years. I don't care what we go through. I'm not going any motherfucking where. I do see this person manifesting this child or doing some type of um, intention work to get pregnant. I don't feel like the masculine wanted this person to get pregnant. Um, that's why the concern card is here. But this person has been served uh, numerous times. The masculine energy has served papers to this feminine woman and she refuses. If you're the masculine dealing with this, there's other ways around getting a divorce if you really wanted one um, without the other party um, having to sign. Now, I can't go into all the details. That's something you got to look into. But some of you guys could be concerned about your, um, some of you guys can be concerned about your finances. No, I'm done. Here. Yeah. Yeah, see, look, and then we have gift and despair. Someone is looking at this child as a gift, and then the other person is like, damn. Look, and then we have privileged lady because this person, this woman, feels entitled. But whoever this is resonating with is because you allowed this situation or you allowed this person to be this way for so long. That's what I'm hearing. All right. So that's what I have for you guys collective. I hope this helps. Make sure you like up on my video and I'll see y'all on the next one. Love you. Peace. I share.